Yo, what's poppin' people call for Star Green? Back with y'all in the video. Y'all first time finding my channel or anything, got definitely hit the subscribe button. Also that video. Yes, today I will be doing my review for the new movie, The Lost City. You know what I'm saying? This was a to some people a very anticipated movie coming out in 2022. So I'll talk about it. Did I like it? Did I not like it? You have to look down below. Now, if you guys do want me to review anything or talk about anything, you guys definitely hit me up over here on Twitter and just say, hey, can you review this or can you watch this or whatever I can do for you guys. But, you know, this movie right here, The Lost City, this movie, I'm not going to lie, this is filled up with a great cast, um, very, very great cast going on here. But, you know, was this movie good? Was the writing good? Now, let me talk about that. Usually, at my new reviews are like usually 20, 30 minutes, but this one's going to be a lot shorter, hopefully. Um, first thing I want to say is the, like I said, the, like I said, the cast is great here. You have um, Channing Tatum, Sandro Bullock, and Daniel, uh, y'all know Harry Potter, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know my, my boy, my boy Daniel in the middle, Harry Potter, aka, that's why I just call him. Every time I see him, he's in, I call him Harry Potter. But, um, you know, what I'm going to say about this movie is that from the get-go with this one, is that this tone in this movie is very, very consistent. Now, what I mean by this tone is very consistent is that, yes, the movie is very funny throughout the entire thing. You, you know, throughout the entire movie, they have jokes here, 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 right? But at the same time, it's very consistent. You know what I'm saying? So it's never falling away from that. There's not even, there's some times where the movie kind of tries to take itself a little seriously and it doesn't work that much. And then it's back on to, you know, trying to be funny. You know, they know why people are in the seats. You know why people are watching this. To be entertained, to laugh. And I think this movie really does a really great job at emphasizing and doing that. You know what I'm saying? So I have to give really big kudos to that. Now, I remember before I even saw this movie, man, uh, with Sandra right here as our main girl. And she's uh, writing a book. And... She's trying to think about stuff for her next book and, and stuff like that. But, you know, with her being the main character, and it was crazy because as you see her as our, as our main character here, um, there was recently a clip that it came out, you know, like I think yesterday it came out. And I was wondering about this whole entire clip. So I want to show you guys this clip right here. Now, if you guys, this was at a movie screening um, a couple of days ago. And in the um, they were talk, taking well, notes and stuff way, like yeah, that and answering questions. Time, so but you. as you see, the end of it, that's the director right there in the blue. She kind of like brushes him off a little bit. Now, if you guys have seen the movie or anything like that, her character is low key the same way in this movie. Like, she's like socially awkward, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody she's around, she doesn't really want to be around them that much. You know, like, at the beginning of the movie, She's doing like this little press conference in this in this conference for her book, her new book that's that's coming out, um, with her and Chan Tatum in it, and she just kind of like like she's really socially awkward and she like doesn't really want to be out in front of people and she doesn't really want to do this stuff anymore. Maybe she's getting tired of it and stuff like that. But I was wondering, I was like, her character is the same way in that in that uh con in that little uh, movie screen thing I just showed you guys. So I was wondering, maybe she's a staying in character. Maybe she just really didn't like him. Now, one thing I'm going to say is the, the reason why people are going to show up, man, is because the chemistry between two people and these two people are Channing Tatum <laughs> and, uh, and Sandra, man. And I think these two together do a really great job, if I have to say so myself, man. And I think... Even in some moments, I really think Channing Tatum's like, I think Channing Tatum outshines her in some moments. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think Channing Tatum, is, when, let's be honest, when Channing Tatum wants to act for real, for real, he does a really, really great job whenever he wants to act. Now, there's sometimes he don't want to act. You know what I'm saying? You can definitely see it. But in movies like this, where he generally looks like he wants to be there. Yes, he does a great job in these roles. And I think he did a great job here. He's my He was my favorite character in the movie by far, man. I really, really enjoyed his character. Um, They do have a... I don't know if this is like really a spoiler or not. I don't really think it's a spoiler. I think he's in the damn trailer. Um, Yeah, they, they do. <laughs> it's funny because you can just tell. 
Uh, no, that's not too big of a spoiler, y'all. It's not no damn spoiler, but they do have uh, Brad Pitt in the movie, and I really did enjoy uh, Brad Pitt's character, um, but you can just tell that there was a certain point where they kind of just ran out of money for him. <laughs> They're kind of like, well, we got a budget here, and uh, Brad, you don't really fit this budget, you know? <laughs> so, I, But I did like what they did with Brad Pitt's character in the movie. I really did uh, enjoy his character um, in the movie. Now, another character I want to talk about really quickly is uh, and I'm so glad he he gets away. He he's getting away from this from from, goddamn Harry Potter. I'm talking about Daniel, man. So if you guys have known him, his biggest thing he's ever done was was Harry Potter. And if you guys don't know his character in this movie, is pretty much the, just your typical villain. You know what I'm saying? He's he he's okay. Look, like his his thing is he's out for this treasure, and he really wants to grab this treasure, and he knows that um Sandra, the main character, our main girl is the only one that really knows, like, where this treasure and where this stuff is. It's typical, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Typical stuff. And he just, he really wants her to, you know, help him find the treasure. So he's like your little typical villain. He has his even typical henchmen that you don't really have faith in. But, like I said, that's what the tone of the movie, you know what I'm saying? So it kind of all fits in there perfectly. But, yeah, I mean, you, you I think he did fine in his role. Um... It's kind of like, uh, he was kind of the same way in another movie, and I meant to pull this up earlier, but um, if you guys have seen this movie, that's actually one of my uh, one of my favorite movies, honestly, um, but it came out a while back. It's a, it's a magician movie, but, um, but if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it was a movie called the, uh, the you know, the, the Now You See Me movies, you know what I'm saying? So, he, and he's kind of the same character, or it's kind of the same way here, I would say. Like, if you've seen Now You See Me too, and you see The Lost City, you're kind of like, okay, yeah, they're, they're the same in, in a certain aspect, you know what I'm saying? So, it's glad to see he, him he get out of that goddamn Harry Potter, because it's like, you know how you play a character for so long, and people get used to that one character, so I'm, I'm glad he's branching out and doing, and doing more stuff now. But the thing I'll say about this movie, and it's crazy I haven't even said this and even talked about this part yet, is, uh, man, the movie, to me, man, especially people around me, man, this movie was so, so funny. You know, this movie is very, very funny. This is, it's about a two-hour movie, a little less than two hours, and you're in there and you're getting straight laughs. Yo. Now, I will say some of the, some of the humor was a little dark. What I mean by that is like if you're if you're a certain age, you know what I'm saying. I feel like younger kids shouldn't maybe go to this one because there's a lot of dark humor there. There's some humor where it's like, all right, you need to be a little bit older for this humor. So, but other than that, man, I thought the, the humor is what shines out in this movie, man. The humor is what is what brings the movie up to another level. Now, I will say that. There is a story here about, you know, them trying to get this goddamn treasure, you know, like the regular, it's just a regular story, right? And the, and it was crazy because like throughout the movie, I kind of forgot the plot because <laughs> like the, the, the plot, let's be honest, the plot is very dull, you know what I'm saying? But that's not why people are showing up. People are showing up because of Sandra, um, Channing Tatum, Daniel and Brad Pitt and just the humor you get there. So nobody really cares about the plot. And even I feel like the writing didn't even care about the plot also. So, um... Yeah, man. There's even a there's even a side plot here too, and I gotta talk about this for one quick second, man. This side plot. This is this is this is. I was kind of bored out with this. This is a, a thing I have to give a nitpick on about the movie. So we have this other character here. Let me pull up her name really quick. So let me get her name right, because I honestly don't know her name. But uh, Divine Joy uh, Randolph, aka Beth, in the movie. This girl right here. So she has a little side plot she's going on because she's trying to go uh, find our uh, main characters. And like the route she has to take to go find them, I just kind of thought it was uninteresting. You know what I'm saying? Like I know she runs into all these new characters and stuff like that that you meet along the way. But I'm like, man, your character is so boring. Like I, I, I know like it, it's just... And she even has like, that, that, that little moment where she's like... I've been tired and I've been doing this stuff all day. And it's kind of like, yeah, can you go on with this plot? Because this little side plot ain't working for me. But, you know, um, the action you see in here ain't the best, y'all. <laughs> if I'm being honest, the action in here ain't the best. But I will say, and like I said, I'll make this review really short. I want to make this one as long as my other ones. 
I didn't expect much from this movie. You know, um, I'm more of a story kind of guy. Like I like to see a really good, uh, a really good story being played out here. It's not, there's not really a story here that that too much. But I will say I did have a whole lot of fun with this one, y'all. I really did, and especially with the humor and the funny jokes they did, especially the Channing Tatum's jokes, the 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 stuff he brought out. I will say I had a lot of fun with that, man. I will, I will say I had a lot of fun with this. The chemistry you see between um, Channing Tatum and Sandra, I think, was so good in the film. And it's what brings, it's what makes me not give this movie a 7 out of 10. Just those two chemistries alone on, on screen was so good. You know what I'm saying? Him just having to try to get her, or, or get her love. He's doing all this because he low-key loves her at the same time, so... And he wants to show her that he's more than just a cover model, you know. So, I, re I had fun with this one, man. I got to say, I, I really had fun with this one, man. I, w I will say, I'll give this movie a strong, for what it is, I'll give this movie a strong 8 out of 10. I really did have fun with this. I think you guys will have fun with this also. Um, it's not boring at all, you know. It's just, it's like I said, it's two hours. It's not boring at all. And I think it really does a great job at emphasizing the humor the humor is throughout there's like not even there's not even times where the humor gets to breathe you know what i'm saying it's just funny 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 you know i'm just keeping it going so yeah i would i would i i would say you don't have to see this in a movie day though you could just wait on this one to hit to, to hit netflix or wherever it's gonna go you know what i'm saying you could just wait on this because there's nothing like special and stuff that pops up that's like Oh, I have to see this in the theater. So you could just wait on this one to hit DVD. But I will say I'll give this movie 8 out of 10 because I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, but if you guys have seen it, man, put your comments down below, man. What's your thoughts on it? What's your, you know what I'm saying? What would you think about this movie? But hey, if y'all first time finding my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Also, the video, tell me your thoughts, complaints, criticism, so down below. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Y'all already know.